Jen, go ahead and, and tell us what's going on with Maddie. Well, um, Monday morning, we took her to school. We dropped her off close to school, across the street from a church, which is very, it's right next to the school. Um, she crossed the street um, and walked to school, what we thought walked to school. Um, my boyfriend who drove her to school walk, drove away at that point. Um, Stefan Stearns was arrested and held in custody, but not, at least initially, for murder. That charge was certainly on the police's radar, but they had uncovered a wealth of other incriminating evidence that compelled an immediate arrest. Detectives found that a Google Drive was linked to Stefan's phone. The drive contained disturbing materials of a sexual nature dating over a period of roughly two years throughout 2022 and 2023. A number of these over 1,700 images and videos depicted Madeline. On Friday, March 1st, 2024, law enforcement received a tip that Stefan Stearns had been spotted changing a flat tire in the area of Hickory Tree Road in St. Cloud. The witness placed him with his vehicle very near to the last camera that had captured him driving that way on the afternoon of February 26th. At about 4.30 that afternoon, the sheriff's department contacted the landowner of the field behind a locked gate, opposite the section of the road where Stefan was thought to have pulled over. Opening the gate, they wandered to the left, where there is a long line of tall bamboo trees. At that point, the captain noticed blue jeans just a few feet into the bamboo tree line. Under the trees, they spotted what appeared to be a body. Her top half was covered by a green-colored hooded sweatshirt. She wore blue jeans. It seemed that the young girl was covered by pieces of hay or dry grass. So what we did was we sent our units out here and we did discover what appears to be a body. Um, the body has clothing very similar to what the victim was last seen wearing. Hello, everyone. So I'm back doing the case of Madeline Soto. I've been watching all of the YouTube videos, everything that I can possibly consume about it. And I just had to do a video. I had to do some charts. And I just wanted to say that everything you heard before, I just brought up a few clips and it immediately went bam, 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 lie, 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 lie. Right from the very start, I have had a very, very strong feeling that Jen Soto is in fact involved in this. I don't usually say these things. I can't help it. I'm going to just say it. Um, you know, I think there's enough people on YouTube that say whatever that, that they want to say. And I feel as though using astrology and looking into the, the event chart for when she was last seen or a few of the charts um, really offers insight. It's it's just, it's in me, I know, I know 100% that Jen Soto needs to be held accountable for what happened. So I'll backtrack a little bit because I've been gone for so long. So I hope everybody's okay. Um, I know it's been like nearly two years. It's taken me a really, really long time to get back into the astrology and to be able to do this. Uh, but the calling was so strong um, that I feel as though now I'm going to be able to continue on and do more cases. Um, something that I have noticed during these, this period of time, the last time that I was on YouTube, there were so many different true crime channels, etc. And... Um, what I wanted to say, um, I love watching Grizzly True Crime and uh, Gizzle K, and I find it just fantastic. And 
funny um, that when I turn on court TV that she's there um, talking to Vince and I think that's fantastic. So Gisela, that's, uh, I don't know if you ever look at my stuff, um, I certainly do yours and I know my subscribers do as well, but um, well done. You know, so um, deeply immersed into all these cases and I just think it's fantastic. Um, I've seen some other people disappear, but something really interesting is that I've seen so much forensic astrology and I love it. People are trying to learn, people are teaching each other, teaching themselves. It's fantastic. It's just grown exponentially. So I'm really, really pleased to be back. Um, I'm back with my, my, my coffee mugs and my T-shirts. You can't see this, but there's a little dog in my cup. Anyway, for those that have watched me before, they know I like my cups and I like my T-shirts. So, yeah, I'm, I'm doing well. Um, well, I'm, I'm doing. I'm okay. But, yeah, I'm really, really glad to be back. I really want to have a look at this case. We've got a few charts that we're going to go through. So this is just an intro into what I'm going to actually be putting onto YouTube tomorrow. I'm going to go through all of the charts, the map, and everything that I feel about the case. So I just wanted to pop on, say hello, I'm back, and have a look tomorrow, and you'll see the Madeline Soto case. Okay, take care everyone. Great to be back, and I hope you're all really, really well. I've missed everyone. Okay. See you tomorrow.